Today, we're going to discuss the role of access with regards to selling your house. Let's talk about it. Welcome to PM New York. My name is Peter McLean from Corcoran. And if you're new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. And if you love the video, please leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. Once you've made a decision to sell your house and hired a real estate agent to help, they'll ask you how much access to your house you want to give potential buyers. Your answer matters much more now than it did in recent years. Here's why. At the height of the buying frenzy seen during the pandemic, there was a rise in home buyers who put in offers on houses sight unseen. That happened for three reasons. Number one, extremely low inventory. Number two, a lot of competition from other buyers wanted to take advantage of historically low mortgage rates. And number three, a general wariness of in-person home tours during a pandemic. Today, the market's changing and buyers can usually be more selective and take more time to explore their options. So in order to show your house and sell it effectively, you want to provide as much access to buyers as possible. But before you let your agent know what's good for you, consider these five levels of access you can provide. They are listed from most convenient to a buyer to least convenient. Remember, your agent can best sell your house if you can provide as much access to buyers as possible. Number one. Lockbox on the door. This allows buyers the ability to see the home as soon as they're aware of the listing or at their convenience. Number two, providing a key to the home. This would require an agent to stop by an office to pick up the key, which is still pretty convenient for a buyer. Number three, open access with a phone call. This means you allow a showing with just the phone call's notice. Number four, by appointment only. For example, you might want your agent to set up a showing at a particular time and give you advance notice. That way you can prepare the house and be sure you have somewhere else you can go in the meantime. Number five, limited access. This might mean that you're only willing to have your house available on certain days or at certain times of day. In general, this is the most difficult and least flexible way to show your house to potential buyers. As today's housing market changes, be sure to work with your local agent to give buyers as much access to your house as you can when you sell. Bottom line, access can have a huge impact on the sale of your house. If you'd like any further information about what we've talked about today, or indeed anything real estate, my details are in the description below. And that's it for another episode of PM New York. My name is Peter McLean from Corcoran. And if you haven't already liked or subscribed, do so now. Ring that bell for future notifications. And if you love the video, please leave a comment below. Always love to hear from you. Okay, take care. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next episode of PM New York.